Hi guys, welcome to Beyond Unknown. Today we will be taking a look at the shocking discovery made by a NASA spacecraft in space. Make sure to stick till the end of this video as we have a lot to cover. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and like today's video, it helps us a long way. Have you ever thought about what lies between different stars? If you think there is only space between them, you're wrong. The space between the stars isn't just space. There are multiple elements scattered there, including hydrogen, 70%, and helium, 28%, formed in the Big Bang that keep our universe in motion. Interstellar space is the region between our Sun's heliosphere and the astrospheres of other stars. The other 2% of elements in interstellar space are heavier gases and dust, comprising the other elements made inside stars and emitted into space by supernovae. The material in interstellar space is very spread out. The whole space differs in terms of density, but a standard density is about one atom per cubic centimeter. Precisely, the densest regions of interstellar space count as vacuum compared with our earthly air. The stars are made in interstellar medium. They are so important that we wouldn't exist without them. If there weren't thick and flimsy spots that condensed into thicker patches that ultimately became stars, the whole universe would merely be a cloud of cold, inanimate gas. Why is it important to explore interstellar space? With the brilliant development in space sciences, humans have become able to explore interstellar space, the space between the stars. It might be intriguing for you that interstellar travel and exploration are technically possible. NASA's Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 probes are already in interstellar space observing unknown phenomena. In the dark, hazy space billions of miles from Earth, NASA's Voyager 2 marked a landmark of exploration, becoming just the second spacecraft ever to enter interstellar space in November 2018. Then, NASA scientists revealed what Voyager 2 explored as it ventured boldly into interstellar space, giving humans new insight into some of the hidden mysteries of our solar system. Jamie Rankin, a postdoctoral researcher at Princeton University, exclaimed with utmost joy, We have been interstellar travelers since Voyager 1 crossed, but now Voyager 2's cross is even more exciting because we can now compare two very different locations in the interstellar medium. This has been a wonderful journey, Voyage Project scientist Ed Stone commented in a press briefing last week. The Voyager interstellar mission started 29 years back to explore the outer heliosphere and possibly interstellar space. This mission is part of NASA's Heliophysics System Observatory and the Voyagers provide the only in situ data from these regions. Voyager's exceptional longevity is due to a vigorous design, an incredibly proficient and reliable operations team, and an amazing backup system. With exceptionally immaculate engineering and excellent infrastructure, both Voyager spacecraft should be able to have at least one instrument operating at the time of their 50th launch anniversary. The aim and objective of the Voyager Interstellar mission are to expand the NASA exploration of the solar system, exceeding the neighborhood of the outer planets to the outer boundaries of the Sun's sphere and possibly beyond. There are a couple of more objectives of the VIM, an investigation of the interplanetary and interstellar media. They also want to peek into a characterization of the interaction between the two and a continuation of the victorious Voyager program of ultraviolet astronomy. During the VIM, the spacecraft will investigate the heliopause, the outermost extent of the solar wind beyond which lies interstellar space. Scientists are optimistic that at least one Voyager spacecraft will still be working when it penetrates the heliopause and will furnish them with the first authentic and genuine sampling of the interstellar environment. Initially, no one can hear anything in interstellar space because it is a near-perfect vacuum. There is practically no medium for the sound waves to travel through, like air. Moreover, Voyager's instruments are much more sensitive than our ears. Scientists were able to listen to other sorts of waves that trek through the interstellar medium and what they heard was music to scientists' ears. Don Gurnett, the chief researcher for the Plasma Wave Science Instrument on Voyager 1, played an audio recording of plasma wave data at a press conference in September 2013. He briefed that the sounds they detected were evident that Voyager 1 had left the heliosphere and was in interstellar space. Researchers claim apparatuses on Voyager 1 identified the waves as vibrations in slight amounts of gas found in the near emptiness of interstellar space. The vibrations are also known as plasma waves, not only once or twice, but the spacecraft detected the waves over several years at different radio frequencies. Once again, space engineers informed NASA's farthest exploring spacecraft has recorded a kind of humming beyond our solar system. A new study suggests the continuous hum detected by the Voyager 1 spacecraft 
is caused by waves existing in interstellar space. The brain behind this research is Stella Ocker, a doctoral student at New York's Cornell University and a member of NASA's Voyager 1 team. She successfully discovered this by examining data slowly sent back by Voyager 1 from about 23 billion kilometers away. Ocker mentioned to Reuters that the newly identified plasma waves would initially be far too feeble to be heard with the human ear. He informed, if we could hear the hum, it would sound like a single steady note, played constantly but changing very slightly over time. A common man should understand that when the plasma waves change to an audio signal, the tone of the sound changes, further added James Cordes, an astronomy professor at Cornell University and the co-writer of the study. He said that the sound they discovered is a bit eerie. NASA officials expressed that the discovery may be the first ongoing measurement of the density of material in interstellar space. Ocker clarified the point. This detection offers us a new way to measure the density of interstellar space and opens up a new pathway for us to explore the structure of the very nearby interstellar medium. The investigators said the discoveries provide a shred of evidence that there is more low-level activity in interstellar gas than scientists had imagined. The discoveries indicate that by tracking these continuous vibrations in the interstellar medium, it may be viable to find out specific properties of this environment, such as its density and other hidden truths. Space scientists can track the interstellar medium between shocks. It may help them comprehend more about a vastly undiscovered spectrum of space. Such an extraordinary discovery, in turn, will help astronomers better apprehend the mysterious environment further the solar system. The scientists are also eager to notice whether the continuous drone continues as the probe travels deeper through interstellar space. Offer called the new findings phenomenal because they could disclose so much more about how the cocoon-like magnetic bubble around the solar system interacts with what lies beyond it. Ocker said, it's the engineering gift to science that keeps on giving, she added. Scientifically, this research is quite a feat. It's a testament to the amazing Voyager spacecraft. To conclude the point, the humming outlined in the new study seems irrelevant to what the sun is doing. It is unlike those intermittent shock waves. This is a persistent vibration in the interstellar medium, which suggests a different source of energy that astronomers might not know about yet. The mission in the future would give us a big picture view of the sun's neighborhood. The mission would traverse the next couple of decades of space exploration and may leave Earth on a path out of the solar system in the next decade. The interstellar probe, which could be part of the upcoming 2023 to 2032 solar and space physics decadal survey, identifies the community's funding priorities. It would be the first spacecraft specifically designed to probe the interface of the sun's protective bubble, known as the heliosphere, and the refined gas around the sun, the local interstellar medium. Such observations are only probable from beyond the impact of the solar system. Furthermore, the mission might visit a few captivating destinations along the way. It is conceivable that this discovery would enable the researchers to expand their mission in the near future and benefit humanity. The recommendation would see the interstellar probe mission undertaken on a space launch system Block 2 heavy rocket in the mid-2030s. Space scientists are looking forward to reaching a range of 380 astronomical units from the Sun within half a century. The mission ought to be a fast one. Interstellar probe will need to leave Earth at up to 60,000 km per hour, leaving the Earth-Moon system faster than New Horizons did in 2006. If NASA officials maneuver the mission, it could last 100 years. The two voyagers were expected to last only five years. Both long outlasted their operational lifetimes, but are expected to run out of power and go silent within five years. But its groundbreaking discoveries have cemented its name in history. They will be remembered for catapulting humanity closer to understanding the cosmos we live in. Please leave a comment down below your own thoughts and don't forget to like today's video. Subscribe to the channel as an offering to the gods of the algorithm. We'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.